Hello, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to a brand new video and this week on the Magic Roundabout we have got a Dinky Toys fire engine I'm not sure exactly what it is underneath I'll have to have a look in a minute when we get it off yep, it's more pink than red because it's obviously had a lot of paint fade uh, ladder's all bent but this is what we're dealing with this week so, as always, I'd like to thank all my new subscribers and uh, welcome back to all my old faithfuls. Thanks very much, people, for watching this and sticking with me. And also, I must apologise to these one or two ladies watching this, so I must say, you know, ladies and gentlemen, it's a bit unfair. So there you go. Any ladies watching, I'm sorry about that. Right. Let's get off to Magic Roundabout and have a good look at it, shall we? Let's have a look then. Uh, Dinky Toys Fire Engine. It's all it said underneath. <clears throat> it's not a matter of weather. Uh, it had a couple of split tires on the back. So I just fished some of these out of my spares on here. And these, if anybody's interested, are 17 millimeter treaded. I use my... Uh, my trusty circle device. I took off one of the tyres, checked it. 17 mil. There, give or take. It's too tight for the other side. And it's too loose for that. So, it's 17s. They do vary slightly. So, here we go. What have we got then? We've got a bent ladder. But it's complete. So, I have to get that off somehow. And try and straighten that out. It's got the bell on, which is good. The glass is in good condition. Well, I'll say it's in good condition. It's got no cracks in it, which is what you want on this one. Well, it hasn't yet anyway, until I try and get it out. Uh, there's some detail on the front there. This bumper, lights, the hoses. I've got new decals for it. Uh, they came the other day. That's why I decided to do this. So we could bling this up a little bit. Do a bit around here, make it look smart. Yeah, fairly straightforward. Like I say, I'm still doing easy ones at the minute until the missus feels a bit better because, you know, we get stuck into complicated ones and, you know, with the time constraints and stuff, try and do it in a week. Um, so I'm picking some of the easy ones. So they will get to, into the more complicated ones later on in the year. Right, anyway, enough of that waffling. Let's get on with it. Got one rivet in the bot in the back there. Front, shall I say, which is a raised rivet, so we'll flatten it out a little bit and use a centre punch. It's got a, a mat base, so it'll have another mat base. Okay then. Let me get this drilled out and then we'll have a look inside. Okay then. Take two. I did <laughs> I've already done this once and the I don't know what happened to the the uh, camera or the phone, it just went and deleted it straight away. So anyway, doing one of these, you haven't done one before. I hadn't done one before, so I didn't realise. I drilled it, my, my usual uh, drill bit in there front, but I didn't realise it was a really, really uh, thin post in there. So uh, the post is gone, but don't worry about it, it's fine. It's got a tag on the front, I can glue that and put a false head in there. Um, yeah, so basically lift up and separate. Put your tag on the back there, your lip on the front. There's no bar that holds this in because some of the old ones have a little bar that holds it in, but there's no bar on this because it doesn't have one. Sprung plate there. It's got a slot in this side piece here. As you can't see it. You might just, it's just there. You, you get the angle right. See it there? Just there by finger now. That's for... If you want to steer it somehow. But yeah, it does. You push down and it goes in that slot. There you go. Like that. Spring plate. There's your post. You can see how thin it is against there. Very little meat on it. So, of course, I went in and bang, it comes straight out. So, that's my bad. You live and learn. Right, this one. The glass. Big mushroom head rivet in there. 
couldn't get a file in to flatten it off to start it, so uh, I went in with a center punch. Went in with a center punch. Sprung loaded. Good thing is I only bought this a while ago. I've used it a few times, quite good. Um, and then I went in with this. I bought this when I first started. It needs a new one now. Um, the point has gone on it. Has a little point in there, and it's a sh shallow drill bit. Ideal for this sort of thing. But I need to, because I can't do one on my own. I tried it, and I just buggered it up. Um, I'm not an engineer or anything like that, so I ain't got a chance. So I bought this anyway. Get in the tow rig. Yeah, that's it. It's gone in. Yeah. So they got me the glass out. It's a bit tight fitting in there. But it does come out. Come on out. There you go. So that survived. The... So that was good. That was a good clean up. So what we've got now, we've got the ladder attachment there and there and there. What I need to do is find out whether that ladder is like straight up in the air. It's all a bit out of shape at the minute. So let's get this out of here. Just little bendy tabs. One there. Careful with these, we don't break them. There. And there. Hopefully that should come out now. There we go, push it, push from the back. Push from the back, boy. Could you keep going out of shot on looking over the camera, trying to straighten these out. There you go, that's the ladder off. So that's I don't know, that's yeah, but it goes up, yeah, it does, doesn't it? It goes up in a curve like that. I'll have to check. I'll do some reference work on this and have a look at the original dinkies and see what it, how it was. So, this will be polished up bare metal. Now, the bell. Now, you can... You can see that. Not focusing very well, is it? The bell is, like, pushed over this nipple. I remember from the last one I did, I had a flipping nightmare. I bent the bell trying to get it off. But yeah, there's a like a rounded nipple on the top of there. I'll try and get it a bit closer. There, you see it? Look. And it, I think you slide the bell over and just tap it down. But I have to try and grind that around, get that off. Can I polish the bell up? And really, that's it. And then we'll strip it. That's the inside colour, like a reddish colour. Yeah, that's all the overspray in there. So you never get trouble. Sometimes you get the right colour. Sometimes it's overspray, so it's lighter. Yeah. Okay then. I'll get the tyres off. We get the tyres off. And this can go in the in the stripper. I don't know though. The base is quite good actually. I might just clean that up actually. I'll clean the wheels up. There's some guns in there. Look. I don't know what that is. Some sort of gunge. Some sort of gunge, lad. Get it out. Yeah, in fact, I think what I'll do, I'll wash this base, because it's not badly damaged. It's not rusty. So I'll wash this base, I think, this time, and just touch up around there. Yeah. Yeah, I think I'll do that. Then I can just repaint the wheels on... I'm painting them by hand and wheels. Buff up the hub points. Yeah, it's fairly straight. And there's a little bit of a kink in it there. Yeah, a little bit of a kink in it. Straighten that out. Straighten that out, boys. Girls. Ladies. There you go. 
fact, it looks a bit bent there. That's better. Can't have a bent chassis, lad. Can't have a bent chassis. There you go. Right, okay, enough of that. Get it stripped. I'll get the bell off and I'll get it stripped. Right, we've got the bell off. It was easier than I thought, actually. You can just see now the dome on it. You see it look on there, look. And this sits over it. And what I've basically done was I thought I just got my file, edge of my file, I went round the circle. I went around the edge of that, just gently, just to clear some of the debris away. And then I look, gently leave it up very, very slowly piece by piece, round, 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 and it started to come up, and then eventually it popped off, which was good, because that means I can get it back on. What I'll do, I'll get it back on, and get a tube, and just tap that over. Yeah. So that was lucky. So if you're going to do one of these, uh, any beginners going to do one of these, just get yourself your file edge, and just run around there. You know, don't go mad, just gently go around it, on top of the bell uh, and get some of the edge off where it's been peened over and then you should if you get a, a, a decent lever either a, a small screwdriver or or anything just gently go around and leave it don't put too much force on it because you'll bend the bell you'll bend that and it does it took me about a couple of three minutes okay so that's that there we go. We'll get on stripping. That's it, stripped. <clears throat> Didn't take long. Got this on the caustic soda because uh, it arrived the other day. So we're all good to go with the caustic. Right, one thing I did forget to tell you, and I didn't realise until after I watched the video back, there's some window pillars missing. Well, I went on uh, Google Images to have a look at, see if I can find out what make of fire engine this is. And it's a Dennis. Um... Dennis fire engine and I was looking and I thought hello there's some, and there's a, a centre pillar missing and one there well you can see the remnants of the old one there and there's one in the middle missing so I've got to re repair those it wasn't ex I didn't twig on when I was showing you at the beginning earlier on I was going round it and when I played it back I thought hello that doesn't look right and it's there yeah the front end of these it's got some good detail on it I must admit we'll have a look the front end of these is i've seen two or three some of them haven't got the this is like a grill see that second piece in there that piece that's like a uh, attachment to the grill when it goes around the inside of that light round around that fits over and it's like a grill um some of these haven't got the grill it's sunken in a little bit so it's rounded off but this one i did see about i think three images of this one so it's basically the same. Your lights there, bumper, and what have you. So we'll do this. What I might do is um, chrome that, and then drop some black washing in amongst there. We'll see. So, of course, Dinky painted it all silver, as they would. Yeah, and a few... It's some, if, what I was saying about the other day, look at the details on this thing. I mean, you've got the, the cross axe cross hatch on the steps there you've got this little step there handle 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 there a little bit up there don't know what that is but it's a little thing it's supposed to be there doors those pipes back these are different colors i've seen some black hose and i've seen some uh, like a ready brown hose on there the ladder these are obviously extension pipes stuck under there and then funny enough i haven't seen one with a ladder there I've seen one with a big ladder but i've not seen one with a ladder there but i'm going to try and do that a natural metal yeah obviously then with a the bell so that's it really so if you look there's quite a bit of detail you can get as close as we can on the hand door handles there and everything very smart 
Very smart. There you go. Anyway, right, it's messing about. Let's get on with this and get it done. So I'm going to clean it up a little bit. I've got the ladder. I'm going to do this natural. The ladder does rise up. Which way does it go? Yeah, it's got a natural curve up there. Like that. So this, I think you just need the bars tweaking a little bit. It's a little bit bent. It comes down this side fraction. Sort of tweak that up a little bit. Yeah, to get it to sit right. So I'll just tap them through. And we'll do that. Okay, I'll get on with this. I'll just give you a quick little demo on the grill like I normally do. Just like get a bit of a demo on the grill. So I had to sort of split pins out of some sort to um, sort these window pillars out. There's quite a lot of corrosion on the front of this by looking at it. You'll see in a second when I stop. Get a focus. See that? Look, there's quite a bit of metal eroded away there. But it's not that bad that the primer and the paint won't fill it. So I will smooth it over with a bit of sanding paper or sanding stick just to uh, smooth it off a little bit. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to carry on with this and I'll catch you when it's um, primer time. Okay then. <clears throat> right. Window pillars. I've put the centre one in already. Okay, so I'm going to do this one on camera, best I can. Now I've done this. So you can see I've made two lines there, and there and there, uh, where the old posts were. I ground off the stub of the old post. Did that in the middle one as well. Um, I've done that. Now what I'm using for the posts, you can use cotter pins, split pins, what have you. But I've been use, I'm use these. Hairpins. There you go. They're virtually the same um, profile as a split pin. Yeah. And you can these can be used for loads of different operations. They're quite sprung, so you can use them for replacing springs in cranes, you know, where the handle turns and stuff. I've used them before that. Uh, you can make all manner of things of these. Uh, the reason I've got these is because they're more ready, readily available than split pins, cotter pins and what have you, and they're a hell of a lot cheaper. I mean, this little box there cost me about 50p for this lot in here. The other thing is you need, um, they've got a, like a coating on them, so you can scrape the coating off or file it off or sand it off, but it's not a big, thick coating. Uh, nip the ends off, these ends off quite easily. They can be done with, with uh, any sort of snips. Pull them open. Yeah. They're quite, you know, they've got a bit of power to them. I'll just snip you this end off just to quickly show you. And they come with the old uh, pincers. There you go. And you can see the profile there. So, yeah, they can, they can be used. So that's what I've got here. All right. So... Got a bit of super. I'm going to try and do this on camera now. So it's going to be awkward. There's a bit of a drop in there. All right. A bit of drop in there. It did take me a bit of time to fiddle about with the with the other one, I must admit. Oh, bloody hell. I've done with that. Where's that gone? There it is. Here's the post. It did take me a bit of a fiddling about getting the other one in place. Because I might have a steady hand for painting, but this sort of stuff, I don't know. I can't seem to to get it right. Get it to hold in place. Somewhere near. Have a look at it from the side. 
It's all right from the back in there. It's all right. And I got my baking powder. Put that on. Scoop a bit up more up than that. It should be fine. Put some on the back. It's good it's not in shot on. Trying to keep it in shot best I can. I'm trying to work over the camera as well, so. Hopefully, that'll do it. There you go. Looks pretty much bang on, doesn't it? So on profile. Thing is to make sure it doesn't encroach too much on the inside. And there we go. We're gonna leave that dry. Harden off and then file it off. Job done. Uh you can fill holes with a bit of soup, isn't it? Oh there, look. Put a drop of super glue in there. Let that go off. And you can file that. Yeah. So you've got the odd hole now and again. And do that. All right, so I'm going to put this to one side. Let it dry off. Then file it. Smooth it all out. Test fit the window. And then we'll get some primer on it. Okay. There you go, all lacquered up, um, lacquered up, idiot, primed up. Yeah, that come out all right, that window, window struts. The hole I filled in the top there with super glue, come out nice. So yeah, let this dry off completely, and then uh, we'll get some uh, red on it. And it should be back fire engine. Okay. Right, catch you in a little while. Right, it's detail painting time. I've whacked the ladder back on and the bell. Get them out of the way because they're in my way. So it's all dried now. Lacquer's all dried. It's had overnight to dry. It's come out quite nice, actually. A nice shine to it, which is good. So I'm going to do some detail painting on camera and the rest I'll do off camera because there's quite a few little bits, draw around all those pipes to do. So... Got my paint, got my brush. Oh, I better get my gig lengths on so I can see what's going on. And we'll make a start. We'll make a start. Right, what are we going to look at first? We get the complicated bit out of the way first. Do these headlights. There we go. Here we go. A bit windy today. If you hear any rattling and banging, it's the wind, it's the trees bashing against the, against the shed. They reckon we're in for some more rain. I'll have to see. Right. Do a bit more around the around there. Yeah, nice little um, casting this. But to be honest with you, looking on um, Google Images, there isn't many pictures of this particular mark. I 
I know Dinky did an airport version of this with a cannon on top instead of the ladder. So, right, okay. We do the middle of the grill first, I think, just to warm my hands up. Just to warm my hands up. I find if you're um, doing this sort of painting, detail painting, it's always best to get your, your, your fingers warmed up, your hands, get some movement going. Okay, what are we on? Three minutes. So I'll keep an eye on the time because I don't want to take too long showing you bits on here. One, you get you get fed up and you move it forward, which is understandable. And I don't do time lapse because I think sometimes with time lapse is okay. Don't get it wrong; a lot of people do it. I'm not criticising anybody's methods whatsoever. Each to our own. So we've got that bit. Now the tricky bit is that bit in the uh, the outer frame of the grill. That's where it's tricky. Just gently. It curves round the inside of this light. Follows that round. Like so. Yeah, see it goes around that, around that light there. Get them bits there. Underneath. <laughs> Excuse me. Hiccups. That's the last thing you need when you're doing this, is flipping hiccups. That's for sure. There we go. Hold your breath time. Just go along the bottom. Yeah, just keep turning the, the casting round in your hands to get the best lighting on it that you can. Well, oh, nearly there. Get to the end. Yeah. 
Right. That's what we're looking at anyway. I need to tidy it up a little bit. So we're going to leave it there on you. And uh, I'll come back to you when it's all detailed up, ready for assembly. Okay, doke. Okay, then. Right. Excuse me. We finished the details. Because I've just checked the time of the video, it was getting on. So I've done all the details, and i put the two decals on the back. I mean, you don't need me to show you how to do those two. They're dead simple. We'll quickly run through what we've done. Handles and steps, front grill, and I put a black wash in there, just to make it stand out. Okay, window glass I've just put in, and I tell you, them pillars, I'm chuffed with them. Same with the other side. Done the hose pipes with a little brass nozzle on the end, steps, doors, handles. And at the top, where the large secondary hoses are, I'll just put paint in the brass rings on those. Now, I checked. I haven't done the ladder, this ladder. I was going to do it, paint it. But I've looked at a lot of the dinky ones, and these weren't painted. So I've gone with that, left it as it is, because it's going to be a bit fiddly to paint that. Um, so, yeah, ladder's on. All there. You can see a bit of the black wash in there now. So what I'm going to do now... To pop that down, just waiting for that to, to dry off completely. Done the wheels, tyres are on. I heated them up to put them back on. So, just a matter of putting the base on and uh, we're done. So, meet me at the Magic Roundabout and see what we see. This is what we started with. Dinky Toys fire engine. Dealing with a lot of paint fade. This is what we started with. So now let's have a look and see what we finished up with. Here we go then. All finished. Dinky Toys fire engine. Very nice. Pretty straightforward this one. Had to add some extra details on it. I didn't paint the ladder. I just uh, straightened it as best I can. Quite a flimsy thing, really, so let's be careful with it. I don't want to break it. Yeah, I did a few extra details on this handles, hose pipes. Uh, hose pipes, yeah. Uh, new tyres, done the grill, put a bit of black wash in there, give it a bit of dimension, clean the bell up, and repaired the window pillars using hairpins so this is it then that's this week's done well i hope you like this one and i hope to see you all again next week when i've got something different again so onwards and upwards and on to the next build thanks very much for watching it's much appreciated There you go. Bye for now.